Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about integrating emails with Obsidian. How you can save your emails directly inside of Obsidian Vault so that you can read them there and process them directly from your Obsidian Vault. If this is something that you are interested in or if this is something that you want to integrate into your workflow, make sure you watch this video till the end because uh, you don't want to miss the steps. Okay, so without any delay, let's begin our tutorial. For this purpose, we'll use the a third party application called make which was formerly called as integromate if you have not created an account i suggest you do and i already have an account so i just click on sign in so this is a automation application like jpr iftt and similar other what this will do is create a custom mail hook and send it to our obsidian vault where we'll use another plugin called obsidian webhooks in order to receive the data once you have finished creating the make.com account, you will be taken to your dashboard. You will need to create a new scenario. You can just go from here or you can just click on click a, create a new scenario. So scenario is how you connect different apps, right? So for that, we will need to first use webhook. So I'll just click on this plus icon and search for webhook over here. And here is the webhook. We'll click on custom mail hook and then click on add a custom mail hook. You can name it anything i'll just let it be default and copy this email address because this is the email address that we are going to be using in the future in order to save our emails to obsidian so i'll just click on copy click on ok now we need to add another module that will help us to convert the html format of the email to the markdown format for that we'll just search for markdown select markdown and transform us html to markdown ok now we'll need to add another module which will send our markdown note to our obsidian vault for that we'll use http request http here is it click on make a request and then you will need to put a url of the obsidian webhooks plugin for that we'll need to go to our obsidian vault and ins install the comte plugin called obsidian webhooks i'll go to comte plugins browse webhooks let me search for webhooks this is the plugin that i was talking about obsidian webhooks it has got around 1600 downloads as of right now so i'll click on install enable this go to options and i'm already logged in if you have not logged in you'll need to log in for that you'll need to go to this website obsidian.buffer obsidian-buffer.web app you can directly go from here generate token and you need to first create an account then you need to generate an obsidian sign-in token and you need to place this token inside this field which will be here then you will be logged in to this plugin okay and let me select this linux unix max style new lines just checking what it is okay uh, okay now we'll need to copy this webhook url add it to the url section in the http module in our make.com account now i'll paste the url over here and you can see path equals to test slash spotify.md what this means is the path that we want our nodes to be saved in this http request will be sent to our test folder and will be added to the spotify.md node so i'll just change the node name for example email dot okay just email now we'll need to add the method method will be post We'll need to add the body type, body type will be raw, then the content type will be text, plain text. Now let's request some content that will be subject, sender, sender's name and email address and then will be text. Now I'll click on OK. Now we have finished setting up our scenario. Now we need to run it. Okay, let's just turn it on, click on run once. Okay. Now let me go to my email application and forward an email to the custom mail hook and see what happens. Oh, I just opened it here. I just switch to new tab and go to Gmail. Let me send an email that I have received recently by Ryan Holiday. I have not read it. If I want to read it inside of Obsidian, I'll just need to click on forward and then put the custom mail hook address okay the address that you received from the first webhook module you can get the address by clicking on the webhook and you will see this is the address that i was talking about custom mail hook address and i'll just click on send from here now this is sent to this custom mail hook 
now this custom mail hook will receive this email and then it will be converted to markdown then it will send a request to the obsidian mail hook plugin and it will add the content to our obsidian world this happens very fast it should not take more than five to six seconds once it has started let me go to my obsidian world and see what has happened over here nothing is added let me go to cine oh here is the you can see the check marks right here okay this means that one request has been successful you can see here the request was accepted waiting for data let me go to my scenarios and see what has happened okay this is the one that was created recently i guess this is not the one this is the one okay you can see scenario was activated if you go to history you can see there is a success status of one request now if i go to my obsidian vault i might probably see it here is you can here it is you can see the test folder that was created by this webhook plugin and here is the email section email note that is created i don't know why it is not opening let me go to the diagram and see what we have done wrong let me go to https and i have not added the file extension that is why it is not showing that is why the obsidian is not able to open this note i'll just click on email.md and now it should be able to open but i'll need to do that process once again i'll just okay forward this email again for the test purpose to the custom mail hook let's remove this from here and click on send and let's see how fast this happens i'll click on run once again so that it receives the data and you can see we can see the check marks again now if i go to my obsidian vault now here is the email i think this okay this is the one and you can see we have got the email all the email from brian holiday that was sent to me in my obsidian world now i can read it from there and process it from there so this is how you can send your emails or save your emails directly into the obsidian and read them there or process them directly from your obsidian world you create an account on make.com you create scenarios three modules webhook modules markdown modules and http module then you install a plugin from the community plugin section in obsidian called obsidian webhooks you log in the account you copy the url and you paste it into the http url section and you are good to go once you forward the emails to the custom mail hook that is that you can find by clicking on the webhook icon you can easily save your emails inside of obsidian so this is it for this video i hope you found the video helpful and this video helped you in certain way and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with more obsidian related content in the future have a great time